good morning to all dear student let's start the computer class chapter 5 ms powerpoint 2010 editing and formatting slides before starting our class please be ready with your book today in this chapter we'll learn about the use of smart art smart art is a special features of powerpoint 2010 that allows the user to add graphics to the presentation group under different categories it is the visual representation of text data in the form of chart rather than tables and numbers so smart art is a one it is a special features of powerpoint that allows a user to add graphics to the presentation that they are grouped under different categories it is a visual representation of text and data text also you can see in a representation very nicely in the graphic form text and data in the form of chart then the tables and numbers here the steps to follow the uh, smart uh, how to insert the smart art Follow these steps to add a smart art to a slide of the presentation. Number one, click on Insert tab, Illustration group, Smart Art option. Number two, it display the choose a smart art graphic dialog box. Number three, select the desired category from the left pane and browse through the different smart art option available in the middle pane. The right pane gives a preview of the smart art selected. Number four. Click OK button to insert the selected smart art design and enter the appropriate text. So here in this image, it is showing how to add the smart art. Look, the in the home, you will get go to the insert tab. Here the insert tab. Click in the insert tab. Then illustration group here. Smart art option is there. Okay. So from here, you can hear the middle pan. This one, the left pan, this side, and the right pan, this side. Okay, here the OK button. After doing all that, after selecting the things, you can click on the OK button. Okay, next, inserting audio and video files. Follow these steps to add an audio file or a video clip to the presentation. Number one. Select a slide where the audio or video file has to be inserted. Number two, click on Insert tab, Media group, Video audio drop down list. So, Insert tab, you will get a Media group here. The video option, audio option is there. This is called the Media group. So, Video and audio drop down list will be there. Number three. Click on the audio from file option from the audio drop down list to insert an audio file. The insert audio video dialog box will appear. Select the desired file and click on the OK button. The clip art audio option allows the user to pick a sound file from the clip art text pan containing sound files. Audio recording can be done using the record audio option and can then be inserted in the slides so you can record your audio voice also here by using a record audio option which are available here in the clip art okay so after that you can insert by clicking the insert button here number four step click on the video from file you have to click the video from the file option from the drop down list to insert a video clip into your slide the insert video dialog box will appear select the desired file and click on okay button so a video also you can click from here you can you have to select the video from file options then you can uh, you will get the drop down list from there you can still insert any video clip uh, and you have to insert on the uh, click on the insert then you will get the okay one or more option 
ok button then you can click on the ok button then your audio or video file will be inserted in the presentation number five when the audio files are inserted a sound icon appears on the slide number six on inserting an audio or a video file an additional option tab appears in the ribbon options in the different groups of this tab can be used to make it suitable for the presentation our next topic is how to rearrange slide in a presentation in order of the slide can be changed easily after the presentation is made there are two ways which are explained here so rearrange how can we order the slide one after the another so uh, then the, our presentation will be look different okay look means very attractive so there are two ways to uh, arrange the slide in a presentation changing order in normal view number one open your presentation in normal view normal view option will be there so you can open your presentation in normal view select the slide of which the order is to be changed on the slide tab on the left side number three drag it either up or down and release it at the desired location number four view your presentation to see the difference in the order of the slide changing order in slide sorter view two view is there one is a normal view and another one is the slide sorter view number one open your presentation in the slide sorter view you will get in the view tab presentation view slide sorter view option number two select the miniature of the slide of which the order is to be changed number three drag it either left or right and release it at the desired location number four view your presentation to see the difference in the order of the slides our next is slide transition a slight transition is the visual effect that occurs when you move from one slide to the next during a presentation. You can control the following features when a slide appears on the screen during the presentation. Number one, the slide can be made to advance either automatically depending on the preset timing or with the help of the mouse click. Number two, you can make the slide appear on the screen following some pattern like box in, checkboard and across. Tra slide transition means what? Different design like how you will move your slide to the, show the presentation. It makes this presentation more attractive. Number three, you can give some sound effect by using appropriate sound files you can make the slide advance with a specified speed maybe you have noticed in the when you are watching a movie when you are watching something in a television first the name used to come the names of the director the name of the actors will become they are coming in some they will move in some different different style so that is called a slide slide transitions some are come in a flying mode some are uh, like a box they will box will be come out some are like a check box so different different in different styles they the letters used to move so that is called the slide transition all these features can be controlled by using the animation tab let us follow this step to apply slide transition number one select either the slide sorter view or the normal view in the status bar number two select the transition tab Number three, from the transition tab, explore the following. So here in this image, it is showing. This is, you can uh, do the, add the slide transitions in a two way, like a, from the slide sorter view also, or from the normal view also, from the status bar. So here we will transition group transition effect transition speed options also there by that things you can modify your slide transition a select any style from the transition to this slide group drop down list number b use the transition sound option to add sound to the slide to be here during the slide so 
here from here you can add the sound duration also how much the sound will become duration also you can time duration also you can change from here number c use the duration option to control the speed of the transition in the slide during the slide so number d use the advanced slide option of the facilitate facilitate slide transition on mouse click or automatically after the specified number of second number e transition can be applied to the current slide or to all the slides for applying the selected transition to all the slide click apply to all number f the to get the preview of the transition applied to the current slide click on the preview option in the preview group of the animation tab in the slide show tab select from beginning from the start slide show group to view the slide show from the first slide of the presentation here showing in this image our next is slide show once you have finished creating the presentation slides what is the next step yes you guess it's right means after finishing the presentation of the slides you have to show it means you have to present you have to show to show in front of the audience how you made the slides presentation it is a powerpoint slide show in the slide show the slides run in the full screen mode that is the actual screen that the audience will see there are different ways of running a slide show slide show from the first slide click on the view tab presentation view group slide show option slide show from the current slide click the slide show icon in the status bar of the powerpoint screen here you can operate the slide show from here setting up a slide show how you can set up a slide show you can set up a slide show by using the set up show dialog box here the set up show dialog box is here number 1 click on the slide show tab set up group set up slide show option the set up slide show dialog box will be app open number 2 in the show time section select the desired option number 3 in the show option section select the de desired option for example loop continuously until skip will help you to run the presentation continuously that is if the last slide of the show is shown then the slide show begins automatically from the first slide this will keep on repeating continuously until you press an skip key for in the advanced slides section select the manually option if slides are to be shown using the keyboard or mouse select the using timing if present option if the slide timing are set number 5 select the desired paint color from the paint color drop down list if you wish to change the mouse pointer to a pencil during a slide show number 6 click on the okay button so your slide show presentation will be set up for presenting in front of the audience by following this steps so dear student that that's all for today's class our this chapter 5 is already over so in the next class we will do the question answers from this chapter so before finishing my video here are some home assignment questions for you write down the answers and send me in whatsapp group thank you and have a nice day